Bruh, it's too early for this man. Aha! Sleepy Lynx is no longer. I am here refreshed and ready for this half 12 kickoff. It's a bit of an odd kickoff. We always find that these 12 o'clock kickoffs, half 12s, are a bit odd. But this one today is going to be far from odd because I'll tell you what, I am excited for this one. And from the last vlog, as you well know, I was waiting for Villa. I was waiting for this day because we have not beaten Aston Villa with Roberto De Zerbi ever ever so today's the day in villa park we're gonna get it i've we, look i've never seen a win here in the stadium so i would absolutely love to see limbs to see the crowd reaction go mental today villa fans are coming on as well today let's get them on anyways been your boy lutely's brian and welcome back to another match day vlog here we are villa park come on can't be a villa car can it it's blue all right, Paul, we've just been talking about the lineup. Yep. What do you think about it? Hinchwood starting today, bit of a change. Why do you think that is? Um, I think he's um, now got a lot of games to balance in a very short time. Yeah. Um, obviously, um, there's a lot of new players now that, as we saw from the European game, yep. so it's a big start for them. First real start 11, chucked it in. Yeah. The balance is not quite right there yet, is it? You know, um, hey. Are you disappointed about Chelsea? Um, Always, yeah. Always, but you know, um, I've been following them for 30, 40 years. Wow. So, you know, there's a reality to this. We are in, um, you know, heady yeah. heights land. We're yeah. in, a, we're on another planet than what we've ever been before. See, realism. Hey, I'd rather take three points today than worry about during the week. Agreed. Absolutely agreed. And uh, what is your score prediction for today? Um, Tough, isn't I, it? I, I don't think we've got a, a clean sheet yet in us. No. So. Um, okay. 2-1 I'll take um, it'd be nice to be three just so we're not yeah. squeaky bum for the last 20 yeah. minutes yeah absolutely love that and any goal scorers who's going to score today where it's going to be um, Matoma Matoma absolutely love that thank you very much Paul My really pleasure. appreciate you See thank you, you. Villa on tour yes mate here we are here we go outside Villa Park it was a, an early travel today half five wake up half five yeah and we travelled at six as well. We left the house at six, but we're here. Well, how are you feeling about today? Well, we were just saying off camera, weren't we, that we'd mm -hmm. probably both take a draw. Yeah. Um, it's tough. I think both sides are very similar. Losing the week in the Carabao Cup, both of us going out of that, rotating a little bit. It's tough, isn't it? It's tough. I think half 12, the atmosphere might not be as lively as if it was like a half five. But I Need a couple of Red Bulls for today. Uh, absolutely. I mean, usually getting up that early. But I think nine in nine for a yeah. one in the Premier League here. Our home form is, is what's carrying us through. So I am confident, but I think it's going to be so tight, your players and you're just, just over the last sort of 12 months bright and flying but yeah. so Villa so yeah. sad yeah I'm looking at DRB today I'm looking at him as a threat anyone else you could give us threats today yeah DRB's a different level we've seen already we've got Leon Bailey who's out injured unfortunately today but DRB similar sort of player but I think he's just a level above um, who else we've got Ollie Watkins got his first goal of the season last week at Chelsea so he got, he's very streaky as a striker so once he gets one he'll uh, hopefully go on a run of form so I do fancy him to get one today I think where he could probably get us is probably defensively Luca okay. Dean struggled a little bit this season defensively has a tendency to go to sleep yeah. uh, we're missing Alex Moreno massively so yeah. going forward I don't think I ever worry about scoring goals I think it's just defensively where I think uh, it could cause a little bit of problems obviously you're scraping off the rust it wasn't been like 30 years since you guys been in Europe and how far do you reckon you're going to be in there mate let's look at it we should be winning the competition you look at sides around there it's just the atmosphere isn't it you yeah. go to Turkey you've already seen us go to Poland oh, oh my we, goodness that's where you struggle that's yeah. where you struggle so on paper look at our side we should be winning that competition absolutely it's just can we sort of keep our heads in that competition hopefully we'll win it same with us you know we're second favourites to win it but we go and lose against uh, AEK and again it's just different football isn't it different football but we're both very similar we're both like this in the table as well very match and match and um, yeah hopefully it's going to be an interesting game any threats in the Brighton side that you're scared of you know 
coming your way today? <laughs> Where do I start? Masoma came <laughs> off the bench last week, didn't he? It was absolutely yeah. unbelievable. He is such a serious threat. And like I said earlier, Luca Dean is someone that I worry about a little bit. So Matoma against Dean potentially could be an issue. Evan Ferguson is an absolute joke. We saw the hat-trick he got against Newcastle. He's the sort of player that I think could cause Pau Torres a bit of trouble. Pau Torres is great with the ball at his feet, but yeah. when it comes to actually defending and being up against that physical presence in Evan Ferguson, it could be a yeah. problem. So I fancy Ferguson to get on the score sheet today, I do. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Now, guys, you know what to do? Go ahead and follow this man right here. But good Top to man. meet you. Legend Thank you very man. much. Nice Appreciate one. you. Thank hey, we're here with Archie. Archie, as a Brighton fan, how do you feel after that Chelsea game? I don't really mind. We've We've got four competitions to play, and if yeah. we get knocked out, well, it's not the end of the world. We've got, got to concentrate, eh? Yeah. Premier yeah, we've got FA Cup in January, which FA Cup's more important than Carabao. We've got Europa League and Premier League, so yeah. I think until December, to only play in two, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, not bad. And uh, how are you feeling today? Is it your first time here in Villa Park? No, I went last season. OK. Um, I was pretty lucky to get a ticket last season. It was down to, like, the final ten. Oh, um, right. Yeah. Wasn't the best result last time? It was the end of the season, it last season and we lost but it didn't really matter we still got Europe but yeah, yeah, yeah. you know would you would you rate this away day then would you rate this away stadium out of all the ones you've been to personally they're the best fans I've ever seen really yeah In, they were incredible yeah. last time um, yeah I really like Villa Park yeah. it's, what would you rate it like out of 10 zero being the worst 10 being the best 8 maybe 9 solid yeah, Villa really fans like Villa Park good good man and uh, what is your score predictions for today I'll go two all because Villa, bit of a bogey team, but you know, Massive. we're improving, we're improving. We, we're going to rotate the squad. Yep. Um, so yeah, I'll go with two all. <laughs> mate, Archie, thank you, mate. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right, we're here with AVFC here today. Big vlogger for Aston Villa. And yeah. look, mate, I just want to talk about the game today because it's an interesting one. You guys are a bogey team. You're always beating us, always getting results. I really hope it doesn't happen today, but what is your prediction? I, I don't know, I can see goals happening today. I think defensively this season, we've been a lot worse than everyone's expecting. Okay. Tyra Ming's injury, yeah. clearly from last season and this season, carried our defence. But I think Brighton going forward, yeah. one of the most exciting teams around, especially in England. I'm going to go, okay. I think it's got a draw written it all over it today. I thought, last season, I thought you guys were going to give us a game yeah. at the end of last season and it, we kind of, but you know, the we slacked off, I think, because we got Europe and we guaranteed that. I think we just slacked off a little bit. Yeah, and the Brighton fans were fine. Like yeah. both fans were chanting towards each other about going to Europe and stuff. But no, today I think goals. I think two two. I think today. I think two. It's going to be a draw. Great I reckon. Stuff. It's a okay, interesting. We'll take that. We'll take that. But we both had a rough start in Europe. Both had the same result as well. Three two loss. Yeah. How far do you think you're going to get in Europe this season? <laughs> well, originally I was saying we're going to win it. Yeah. Uh, but Which I, I would have expected as well, you know. Yeah, West Ham last season, and obviously we're a big team. Our group stages, you know, I don't really know much about the other teams, but yeah. I thought we were going to do well. Uh, I think we'll still be okay. We'll definitely qualify for the group. Okay. If we can get to the final or the semi-final, I'll, I'll be happy. Nice. But yeah, at the start of the season, my expectation was to win the Conference League and just finish above mid-table. However, it seems to be the opposite. We seem to actually be better, playing better in the league than like even in the Carabao Cup last week we yeah. were absolutely dreadful against Everton yeah. so I don't know uh, will we win it I'm not sure I think you guys have got a decent chance to go far I'm yeah. not sure you'll fully make it with the Euro the group Euro of death league. we've got mate yeah pretty much but um, yeah. it's, it's nice to see teams like Villa and Brighton in there like it's we're doing Bright, it, aren't we? Brighton have only been in the Premier League for the last four or five years and you're already there Villa we haven't been in Europe for 30 years but you know we're there feels we're good to be, be back eh feels good to be back yeah man and uh, lastly where do you think you're going to be in the Prem um, mm, start, but once we carry on, I think we'll be okay. We've yeah. got a good run of fixtures coming up after Brighton. We've got, I think, Wolves, Brentford, Fulham, Luton. We've got some winnable games. So yeah. I don't know. As long as we're in the top seven, I don't really mind. Yeah. Um, good, some good away days hopefully coming up, and that's that's all we can expect from this season. And for the Brighton fans at home, who are you most scared of as a Brighton player coming up against you today? Well. Matoma, obviously, yeah, you know, yeah. Matoma goal, good wouldn't shout. mind that for the vlog today, but yeah, uh, uh, I like Eston Punia. I actually, mm. weird ones, you remember everyone putting in his FPL? Yeah, uh, it's last season. Yeah. I actually had him from game week one and he was absolutely banging me points, but yeah. I just thought I'd tell you that. Where can people find you? AVFC Vlogger on YouTube, go subscribe, go subscribe to Luke as well, oh, uh, Big Brighton Vlogger and uh, Up The Villa. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you for coming on. Bang.
open 30 minutes in the game. They were knocking on the door. They've just got ahead and done it. 1 0 Villa. Gotta say, when you travel places, you travel away games, it should be a bit better. I feel people should be staying, you know, out of respect and out of supporting your own club, you should be staying to the end. I don't care how annoyed you are, you've got to bat the team. Corner goes in, head is out. Because we're playing Marseille next week and we need support. So people leaving ain't gonna do any any good for us, so do you know what I mean? Oh my lord. Oh, 
Finley, Finley, how do you feel? Tell people, tell the Brighton fans. Disgust. Mm. It's unlucky though, that we got better, but... Yeah, do you reckon it's just one of them games? We're gonna, we're gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna get the next time, for sure. I love the positivity. Are we gonna win against Marseille? Oh, come on! Yeah, I love it, Finley. Love it. Are you ready? All right, Harry, how do you feel? Let the Brighton fans know. Oh. Yeah. One of them games? Yeah. One of them games. Anyone that you've particularly thought that we should be playing starting next game? So like Fatty, do you think he should start next game? Anyone you think that came on but should start next game? Van Hecker. Van Hecker. Do you think the defence wasn't good today? It wasn't good at all. Nah, not good at all. And um, one player that did play okay that you thought, who would you say? Uh, Jack Horshwood. Yeah, I think so as well. Thanks for coming on Harry, appreciate you mate, thank you. All right. Luke, how are we feeling? Up the villa, podcast, here we are. And uh, outside Villa Park, once again, with another loss. But let's talk about it, okay? How are you feeling after that? I'm, I'm more delighted the way that we played against Brighton. And I think that's a testament to Brighton and to Zerbe and the way that you guys play. Because I was really worried about this game. We've been playing quite well, but we've been indifferent in parts. We've done some things well in games and some things quite bad. Yeah. And the, Brighton as a team can exploit any team in the Premier League. And... I'm just more happy that we got the win. Um, you know, to win 6-1 is just absolutely amazing against Brighton because you, you're a great team and I think, you know, we have to give you massive credit for how good you, you play and, um, you know, I think Emery's kind of got <laughs> deserve his number. Yeah. I mean, three games so far, three wins. It felt, it, I felt watching Villa against Brighton today that we sort of, add your number a little bit we, we set up well when you were doing goal kicks we were winning the we were winning the first contact when it went into midfield yeah. which was then winning us the ball higher up the pitch which was pushing you further back so I think in turn those tactics worked really well today but um, you know it's, it's a great win from Villa fans perspective and you know we go to third in the league now so that's, that's massive crazy. overtaken us now that is nuts but yeah generally Ollie Watkins again he just loves a goal against Brighton and I remember the last time we went here, he scored with Mings as well. But he's got a hat trick today. I mean, did you expect that from Ollie Watkins? Not a hat trick. No. Um, he's one of those players that once he scores, he gets form. And he scored against Chelsea. So, you know, his form normally snowballs. Going. But, you know, to get a hat trick, he was electric today. You know, he was he was causing Duncan Webster so many problems when he was running at them um, and you know and a, a winger with pace and, and a striker with pace can pose anyone problems so um, yeah he, he was great today it just felt like everything yeah. he went in yeah. um, it was just one of those and, did, and yeah. some strikers have that in games don't they you can scuff it and it goes in and you know a deflected shot and it goes in and, and that's yeah. what Villa had today in, in some of them finishes fantastic stuff we absolutely love it and uh, look, Luke appreciate you coming on mate yeah. Labosh. Oh my goodness, people, what has just happened? Honestly, I, I, I've i not seen a, a sort of a game like that in a good couple of years. I'll be honest with you, definitely the worst game under De Zerbi, I will say that. Do I think it's all De Zerbi's fault? Not really, not really. Yes, I, I don't think Webster should be starting for next game. Definitely think Van Hecker should be there. Solly had a pretty poor game as well. Yeah, today wasn't it, but what we all got to remember as well, and, and this is what I've been thinking about, and I've been speaking to a few other fans about it, and that's ever since we won against United, you know, going up against Bournemouth, we were, if you think, if you remember, we weren't good in the first half up against Bournemouth. We weren't good in the first half up against Villa. And and this is the, the reoccurring thing that I'm seeing here with Brighton. Again, AEK Athens, we didn't start great there either, did we? Because we went a goal down first. So this is it. We're just not starting very good. On We seem to pick it up in the second half because that's just magic to Zerbi, you know, trying his best to bring 
what he can to the table and trying to bring these new players on. The rotation is hurting us a little bit because we're just not used to the, the rotation. You know, with the goalkeepers and with the players, it's just, yeah, it's just odd. You know, it's and it, what is weird as well is Brighton, we're very used to like, oh yeah, we know who's going to play today. But now, these days, it's like, who's going to play today? It could be Fatty, you know? It could be Gilmore. It could be Ferguson, you know, going up front. It could be Ferguson. It could be João Pedro. It could be Welbeck. Like, it's just so different. And so, yeah, we're just not used to that rotation. My worry is, next Thursday, going up against Marseille, we are travelling, ladies and gents, to Marseille. And I'm just very nervous about it. I cannot lie, I'm very nervous. So, we'll have to see what happens there. Hopefully, we can just bring something different, you know. And hopefully, we can just bring some better tactics coming forward. Change things a little bit. Because I'll tell you what, we were easy to read today. Villa read us like a book they played it well they seem to know Deserby's football um, and they seem to be the only team that is really hurting us at the moment and I'll tell you what I haven't seen the team beat us 6-1 by that amount of goals past us in ages in years so it's been quite crazy but anyways look I'm gonna end it here if you did enjoy what you've seen I hope you did I hope you did please do subscribe turn the bell notifications on like the video if you did enjoy La Bosch here from up the villa hey and uh yeah we'll see you guys later and um big up you villa fans if you're watching you deserve to win bye bye villa park i am dreading the next time i come here Yeah, I enjoyed myself.